Hey guys, it's Wayon60 here, and today I'm going to show you another Android 4.3 ROM for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. It's um, Cyanogen Mod 10.2. It's an experimental build, um, and it's an unofficial ROM. But let's try this out here. So, as you can see, you get the CM uh, lock screen widget there. And then it really it's a lot like the last ROM I tried out. Um, I mean, it's, there aren't that many changes. You know, you got the CM... Uh, God, what's their music? Apollo, I think Apollo uh, is their music player, and you got that there um, in that widget. And then, of course, you have CM, com CM customizations and all that. But really, right now, for the uh, Android 4.3 ROMs for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus, you're looking for stability and how well it works. Well, so far, it's worked okay. Um, data, I would say, is better than the ROM I last reviewed, the AOSP ROM from M. Muzzy. But it's definitely not perfect. Um, it goes in and out, it doesn't always work. It might work and then it will shut off. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's just not great. But let's go in here. As you can see, Android 4.3. And then you can see that the kernel version um, is a CyanogenMod mod kernel. Now that's another thing. Um, I don't think this ROM is as fast as the last ROM, I, the AOSP ROM. Um, it just, sometimes it'll lag, frame rate drops, which I guess is lag. Um, and you know it isn't it isn't great. Um, it isn't as good as it could be. But actually, let's go back in here for a second. And as you can see, uh, system. You go into the system setting. You can see there's a lot of you know expanded um, system options here. You can go through buttons and layout, clock widget, notification light, uh, status bar. You can go up here and you can you know. You can change the battery status icon. I actually changed it, but usually it's circle. So I can see now it's a circle instead of the battery icon. I'm going to change it back, though. Um, but it's safe to say, though, that I don't think I'm going to use this as my daily driver ROM. I think I'm going to try flashing um, either back to an AOSP ROM or maybe like Slimbean or something. Um, because this ROM, it's just not working for me. Um, not as fast as I would like. Not as... Um, St stable as I would like. It actually, there's sometimes the trebuchet will crash or uh, the camera or something. Sometimes stuff just crashes, um, and that's just how it is. So yeah, I can't I can't honestly recommend this ROM unless you're you just really want to have data and a okay Android 4.3 ROM. But I think that there's going to be a lot better options out soon. So as of now, I would say just if you're on 4.2.2, just stay on 4.2.2 um, unless you can get the AOSP ROM working. So, um, that's really it, guys. If you have any questions, I will, uh, you know, try to answer them to the best of my ability, um, and I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye.